This is a French classic called Pepperade. It's made out of eggs, red peppers, tomatoes, garlic. It's yum. So I've taken a pan, added some olive oil in it. After that, add some garlic. Don't add too much of garlic. It's not meant to be garlicky, but just enough to give the flavor. I'm adding in some onions. They can be either finely chopped or they can be sliced, whichever way you'd like it. Saute them till the onions are pink and translucent. We do not want to brown the onions at all. Now, after this, we're going to be adding in some red pepper or red capsicum. No seeds, please. And they have to be decently sized chopped. I don't want a very fine chop, otherwise it's going to leave a lot of water. I'm adding in some black pepper, some salt and some cayenne pepper. This is going to add flavor at the initial stage of cooking. Now let this entire mixture cook for a good five to six minutes. Then we're going to be adding in some chopped tomatoes. These tomatoes, they can have the skin on or off. That's up to you how you would like it. In my recipe right now, I do have the tomato skin on. Now we are going to cook this entire mixture till it gets nice, thick and pulpy. So I'm going to cover it now. Please note no water to be added at this stage. And the covering was for close to four to five minutes. Now with the help of a spatula, keep mashing the entire tomato chunks in case if there are any left and see to it that it's a nice pulpy thick mixture which is formed. Now we are going to be adding in the eggs. The eggs have been at room temperature and now as you can see I have poured them into the pan. Let them start cooking at the base. Do not be in a rush. Let the base start cooking and we are going to be using a spatula later and giving it a slight turn. That's the only way we are going to get the small fluffy clouds of egg. I've added in some parsley or some coriander leaves. Now give it the first stir. As you can see the raw egg which is on top will move down to the bottom and that's going to start cooking. Don't do it in a rush. We do not want to scramble it exactly. We just want some larger soft egg chunks. Now I've spread it out and I'm going to let the base cook again. I've added some extra cayenne pepper and some black pepper and I'm going to let the base cook. This is how the small egg clouds is what we need. Do not scramble it too much like an Indian egg burji. That's not what we want, the end result. Even though it may look similar, the tastes are absolutely different. So give this a nice stir. Just see to it that the egg is really cooked as per your liking. Few people like a little runny egg, which is fine for their taste. Few like it overcooked. So it's up to you how you would like to cook it. As and when you're cooking, just see to it that you do not keep scrambling. This is a great brunch idea. It can be served with crusty bread. Give it a try and happy cooking.